What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the Water Juice channel. Welcome back to the UCLA Bruins career here on NCAA 2K21. That is right. We are back and it's tourney time, baby. We're going dancing. We're going dancing. Oh yeah, baby. We made the NCAA tournament and we are ready to go. It is tourney time. It is big play time. The big the big stars need to step up in the big moments and hopefully we can get it done in this tournament. Now, if you guys do not know how this works, obviously you don't because this is the first time we've done it. How this works is this video will encompass the entire NCAA tournament, no matter if we go and we lose in the first round in the Sweet 16, or if we lose in the Final Four or the National Championship game, this game, this will be the entire video. So strap in. It hopefully is going to be a long one because hopefully that means we're in the National Championship game against whoever we play. But this is big. This is yeah, this is year number one, and we are in the NCAA tournament already. With the lack of depth that we have, I'm surprised that we made it. But we did. Our stars played better than most people uh, on other teams. So I'm happy about that. Jalen Hill. I think that's it's Jalen Hill, right? Yeah, it's Jalen Hill. He dominated last season. Or this this season, I guess you, you could say. And uh, he's leading us into the NCAA tournament. So smash that like button, notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club Let's go dancing, boys. All right, here we are in the NCAA tournament bracket. We are currently the five seed over on the uh, the western side of the bracket. On the eastern side, the five seed would be Michigan. Ohio State makes it as a six seed over there. The number one seed for both conferences or both uh, sides of the bracket are Texas on our side and North Carolina on the other side. I'm pretty sure North Carolina had the best record in the entire country this year, so that's not looking good for us if we have to go and eventually play them. But our matchup is against Baylor. We played Baylor early in the season, so we know how they're gonna they're gonna react and they're gonna how they're gonna play. Jalen Hill is up to an 86 overall, Chris Smith 85. Um, you may notice that I've changed the contracts for a few players. I have adjusted the contracts for a few players on every single team. I did it random, completely randomly, uh, so that players would we wouldn't get everybody into the transfer portal in year number one. There, you got to have some people that that decide to stay on their team. So the main guys that didn't get the luck of the draw and are gonna be in the uh, the transfer portal this year are Ao Desumo, <clears throat> excuse me, Ao Desumo. Kofi Coburn, Cade Cunningham, James Bauknight, Evan Mobley, Moses Moody, Jalen Suggs, Trey Mann, Trenton Watford, Isaiah Livers, Marcus Garrett, Marcus Sasser, Demetric Trice, Luca Garza, Eve Pons, Santiago Vescovi, Emmett Matthews, <coughs> David Johnson, Dwayne Washington, Johnny Juzang, Devian Harmon, Mark Williams, Devontae Davis, Desi Sills, Jericho Sims, and then some guys down here that are that don't really mean like a lot. I did it completely random. The way that I, I did, I just, uh, I went through, I did like this scrolling motion, and then I just, whatever person it landed on, that's the, the person that got their contract changed. And then whoever didn't get it didn't get landed on, they ended up with a one-year contract. So that's how the transfer portal is going to work. And once, because I'm assuming that when we get to the transfer portal, which is free agency, um, I'm assuming that the teams are going to give these players big contracts. So to counter that, at the end of the season or sometime in my free time, I'm going to go through and um, lower the contracts so that they're not like super crazy. Like somebody's getting like $40 million a year or something like they, college players don't get paid at all. So, and this isn't the argument to say that they should, I think that they should, but this isn't the, the situation that we need to argue that, but I'm going to go and adjust those contracts. So they're not crazy. And so that they're not super long so that we keep getting turnover and stuff because you, you want to see some turnover and stuff. So that's the plan for that, but we got to get started because this video could be very long. I don't know what the timestamp is, but it could be a pretty long video. So let's get right into this first round matchup, the Sweet 16 versus Baylor, four versus five. Smash that like button, hit notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. Let's go play them Bears. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We've got game number one. 
the Sweet 16. We may be one and done. Who knows? <laughs> That'd be a very depressing NCAA tournament for us, but maybe Baylor's got what it takes to beat us. I don't know. We beat them earlier in the season, but that doesn't matter come tournament time. Uh, we got to rely on our sharpshooter, Jaquez, and we got to rely on Jalen Hill to be a monster again. Hopefully uh, those guys can counteract all the other bad things that our team has, like a lack of depth. Chris Smith on a nice rebound. Jalen Hill's going to go in. I'm going to feed it to him, and it's going to bounce off Jaylen, Jared Butler and get a uh, turnover. That's an annoying little thing that happens. And, of course, they make a three off of that. So the way this is going to work is it's going to be a little bit different than uh, a regular video because... Um, because that's just one game per video but this is going to be since there is a possibility of so many different games in one video the highlights are going to be probably very scarce uh just so we can make the video as short as possible i don't really want to have to make like a an hour and a half long video or something so that's how it's going to have to happen for at least uh the ncaa tournament then when we get back to ooh, nice steal by campbell when we get back to the regular season, then it can go to uh, your regular one video or one game per video and then uh, more highlights than just a few. So there probably won't be the entire first quarter in uh, in this video unless something crazy happens. But Jalen Smith keeps getting blocked. I can't get the ball in the basket right now. I keep getting blocked by whoever's down there. I'm not sure who that is down there. I can't see his name. But he keeps on smoking me. He's got like two blocks, so I'm going to have to focus here. This may be your last time you see me for a, a bit, depending on how this game's going. But Chris Smith, ooh, can't get the three to go. It's Thamba. Thamba keeps swatting that ball away from me. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out how to get rid of him. Uh, but I think this is going to be the last time, depending on what they do on this possession. What are they going to do here? Clark, he puts it up. He, this is this is going to get ugly. So this may be the only game that you see. Who knows? What? Did he just make that? That's crazy, bro. Wow. GG's on that one. Woohoohoo! Alley oop, baby! And I oop! That was big. <laughs> that was a two handed slammer Rooney. Alright, this game is basically over, and as you can probably tell already, my camera has died once again. I feel like my camera dying is becoming kind of a meme on the channel. I don't know why it keeps dying. It's a good camera. <laughs> like, it's not like an old camera or anything. It shouldn't die. And I haven't used it that much today. I've recorded a couple of other videos, but I mean, nothing crazy. And yet... Here we are. <laughs> no face cam for the end of this big Sweet 16 game against Baylor. And uh, all we got is my beautiful voice. But that's all right. Because we're going to move on to the Elite Eight. And I'm not sure who we're playing in the Elite Eight, but hopefully it's as easy of a game as this was and this one wasn't even that easy really we struggled a little bit off the rip against Baylor but our big time players Chris Smith Jalen Hill they came to play today and they uh, they really stood out they really dominated this game took it over Jalen Hill's played the entire game he's got 22 and 15 so I think our lack of depth is going to come back and haunt us. I really do. I Whoa, Jalen Hill. Calm down there, young boy. I really do think our, our lack of depth is going to come back and just bite us in the butt deep in this tournament because we already, I'm already struggling in, sweet, in the Sweet 16 to find, uh, to find situations and, and lineups that will work. And I just, I can't. I don't have another big guy. All the only big guy I have besides Hill is Riley, 
and Riley starts at power forward. I guess I could adjust the starting lineup to make Riley come off the bench to be the backup big. That could be a, a possibility, and then just play some small ball, I guess. But, I mean, I hate to see Jalen Hill play the, the, the entire game, each and every game in this tournament that we go through. That would be... That's borderline abuse right there, I guess. He's not he's not gotten a single break since halftime, and I mean there's been a timeout called here and there, but he really gets no breaks. And now as we move on Ooh, I almost made my own. And now as we move on to the Elite Eight. Oh, we're really gonna get tested here on our depth, that is for sure. Alright, so as we knock off Baylor in the sweet sixteen, Jalen Hill ends the game with twenty eight minutes played. 22 points, 15 rebounds, three, 3 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. Chris Smith had 18 points, 4 rebounds. Johnny Juzang had 9 points, 7 rebounds. Tiger Campbell, 8 points, 10 assists. Singleton, uh, 6 points, 6 assists. Kyman, 6 points. Uh, Jacquez really didn't shoot the ball that great. 2 of 4 from the field and 1 of 3 from 3-point three line. Or, uh, yeah, from 3-point land. So he didn't really shoot the ball that great, so... We might uh, we might need to work in some of the, the lesser scoring guys for the next game just to get a little bit more depth because we are going to struggle in depth, that is for sure. All right, so moving to the Elite Eight, and guess what? <laughs> we get to play the Texas Longhorns, the number one team in our side of the bracket in the Elite Eight. That is just fantastic. It looks like Houston beat Virginia and Gonzaga upset the number two seeded West Virginia Mountaineers. UConn beats Iowa without Luca Garza. And Illinois gets past Michigan. Tennessee beats Ohio State. And Michigan State beats Louisville. So that is your Elite Eight. Texas, UCLA, Houston, Gonzaga, UNC, Illinois, and MSU, Tennessee. What an interesting Elite Eight. And I did remember something that I did not show you guys uh, I did not show you guys the stats on the season for everybody. I don't think I did, at least. Jalen Hill averaged 26 points and 12 rebounds throughout the season. Tiger Campbell, 16 points, 5 assists. Jacquez, 14 points. Uh, Riley had 13 points and 8 rebounds. Zhu Zhang had 12 points, 4 rebounds. So, Singleton, 8 points. Some good players. Especially we lose depth because uh, Bernard is out for the season. He averaged six points before his injury. Chris Smith only six points per game. It kind of stinks that Chris Smith is our second best player and he's only averaging six points per game. But that's because these two guys really took a lot of the points. And then Jacquez, what did he shoot from three? He shot 44% from three. Who was our highest? It was Tiger Campbell and then uh, Jacquez. So those are your season stats for the UCLA Bruins. Uh I hate to say it, but we got to go play Texas now. What is where's te <clears throat> where's Texas at? Let's find Texas here. This is their team. They got Matt Coleman, Courtney Ramey, Greg Brown, Andrew Jones, Jericho Sims, Kai Jones, uh, Jace Ferbs or Feb Febres Feb Febres. I don't know how to say that. Will Baker, Gerald Liddell, Royce Ham, uh, Kamaka Hepa, and Donovan Williams. So those are your Texas Longhorns. Oh boy, this is gonna get ugly. This might be we might be one and done in the tournament, boys. We might be one and well, two and done, I guess. We might be one win and then out in the Elite Eight. This is gonna be rough, but let's go play the Longhorns. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It is the Elite Eight in the NCAA tournament, and we are here in Austin, Texas, for this game against the Longhorns. They are the number one seed in our side of the bracket, the number two overall seed because I think he, uh, Carolina was the number one overall seed. So we are going to have to play our best basketball if we want to have a chance, even a chance. And we're going to have to play better defense than that for sure if we want to have a chance at beating this Texas squad because they are the real deal. I think we've got what it takes. The only thing that concerns me, like I mentioned in the game against Baylor, is our depth. I don't know if we have the depth to be able to uh, compete with a team like Texas. There's a reason they're the number one team in the country, or in the in this side of the bracket, and that's because they have probably some decent players off the bench. We have decent players off the bench, just not a lot of them. And that may 
turn out to be a problem. And then we got snipers like Jacquez in the starting lineup who are sniper, sniper, sniper. Easy money there. As Sims with the pass to Kai Jones in the corner, guarded by Riley. Oh, Kai with a step up three, no good. Chris Smith with the rebound. Let's see if we can get some momentum here. And Chris Smith drives, fouled. Can't get the in one, but he will go to the line. Coleman's first personal. He greens the first. Good job for Chris Smith. We really need Chris Smith to step up in this postseason. He didn't play as great a basketball throughout the season, only 6.8 points per game. So he needs to really show why he's an 85 overall. He really needs to give us the reasons why we start him, too. Nice block by Hill. And Coleman gets that second one up because I jumped too early. I jumped far too early on that one. And Tiger Campbell can't get that one. But that leaves Jacquez in the corner and the turnaround before it even made it. That's the confidence that we need from the sniper. He's got ice in his veins. Sims with the ball. Gives it to Kai Jones who shoots the three in the corner. Tries to fire right back. No good. This is good for us though. If we can get some momentum. Let's give that to Hill. Let Hill work a little bit. Oh, yes. <laughs> that one went around the world a little bit. I hate when the, the ball just goes in and around the basket like that. That's so annoying. Coleman has it. He's going to get a screen from Sims. It's going to work on him. Work on me, I should say. And no way Jones hit that. That's crazy. I was all in his face. I'm not sure why it gives... It's given the Texans like the Lakers stuff. I thought I switched everybody so that they would be not affiliated with any of the NBA teams. <laughs> but I guess I missed the tech, the Longhorns. I'm, I'm not sure. Obviously I missed them because they're still using the, the Lakers stuff. <laughs> Liddell, no good from three. I missed the rebound though. Luckily I had Tiger right there. That would have been embarrassing missing that rebound. Uh, let's go in a little bit. That works out. And I got, ooh, nasty reach in from Kai Jones. Be careful, my guy. Watch where you're swinging that thing. Watch where you're swinging that thing. Cody Riley trying to back down. Can't do it. Has to pick it up. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> that was a nice pass, too. Oh, where's that at? Oh, couldn't find it. Could not find that ball. Coleman, he's going to try and get it. No good. Rebound, Singleton. Let's push it up the court a little bit, get some pressure on this Texas defense. And Chris Smith lays it in. Good job, my guy. Let's see if Coleman has something up his sleeve. He's just going to run by everybody on that one. What is the defense on Singleton there? I thought I played at least decent defense. I guess not. Wow. Singleton to Riley to Smith and Smith oh that was oh no oh no cut that out no that was bad I got hit on the see I got hit on the arm that's what happened I got hit on the arm that's not fair where's my foul Singleton gonna drive in here. It's all him. Nope. Foul. Coleman's the one who's got it. That's the second, so we gotta keep an eye on Coleman. Remember, there's only five in uh, in college basketball, so he has not really much room to work here, especially with two. Oh, Singleton! I needed to hit both of those, my man. And that's my bad. I thought that he was gonna pass it. I was wrong. I played the pass and I was very much wrong. And Singleton got some space. Oh, he, he probably was going to go for a dunk there, but it got uh, knocked out a little bit. That was close. All right. How do you say this guy's name? Febrez? Or F F Febreze? <laughs> I'm not 100% sure how you say that guy's name. But we are going to get demolished if we keep leaving three-point shooters open. Because it seems like to me... 
that everyone on their team can shoot the three. So we got to be careful. And, oh, it's got to go in. Give me some of those shots, my guy. We got to get lucky on those. Those are the kind of shots that we need to make if we want to win this game because we are the f very, very heavily underdog, the heavy underdog in this game, and uh, we need to prove the entire country wrong, and we need to show that we are the best team in this, in this tournament. And to prove that, we need to beat the number one team in our side of the bracket. I think it could happen. We're already up by four. But we are just one quarter into the game, and a lot can happen in the next three quarters, especially with uh, weak defense like that, like we, what we've been playing in this game so far. Let's pass this out to Clark. Clark didn't hit a single free th or a three in the last game, and he continues that streak here. I need to stop shooting with Clark. He's never gonna make one. I don't know. If, I don't even know what his three-point rating is. But, I mean, he's a shooting guard, so if you play shooting guard, you probably should be able to shoot the ball at least pretty good. Maybe not like the level of some of the guys in the in the country, but, I mean, you got to be able to shoot a little bit. I haven't made a three with him in this entire season. Singleton in the corner. That was probably a bad shot. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have shot that. Uh, up by two. Ramey. No good. Rebound, Texas. That's going to be a three. And that's going to make it. No way he makes that with a hand in his face. That's crazy. That's so unlucky that he makes that with a hand in his face like that. Hill. Oh, no. In and out, and we're down by one to end this quarter. That's unlucky. Clark made a three. Let's go. Oh, that's awesome, baby. Making threes in big time moments. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we are going to move on. We upset. We upset the number one team in our bracket. And we did it pretty easily as well. And Tiger Campbell, my God. We move on to the final four, ladies and gentlemen. The final four. Upsetting the number one team in our side of the bracket, the Texas Longhorns. Let's go. That's awesome, boys. That is awesome. Stats on the game. Tiger Campbell dominated with 24 points. Jalen Hill, 18-17. He had to play the whole game again. Uh, Jacquez, 8 points. Chris Smith, 8 points. Clark, 5 points. Juzang, 4 and 5. Good game for everybody. And now we move on to the final four. So the final four has been set. It is UCLA versus Gonzaga and North Carolina versus Michigan State. Winner goes to the national championship game. UCLA-Gonzaga, obviously one of the real-life matchups in this past tournament. Uh, North Carolina, Michigan State did not make it as far as, as they did in this, but we are going to have our work cut out for us if we thought Texas was going to be tough. Oklahoma, or not Oklahoma, uh, Gonzaga is going to be even more tough. I, th I hope we can do it. I don't know with our depth. I don't know if we can get it done or not. We'll have to hit some good shots, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It is the final four. We already know one team that is headed to the national championship game. They played earlier today. North Carolina won their game against Michigan State. So it is time. Oh, that was a nasty snatchback from Jalen Suggs, but he can't get it to fall. He's going to go for another three because I left him wide open, and this time he hits it. That's my bad. I, I should not have left him wide open with Tiger Campbell. But North Carolina has defeated Michigan State to get the first spot in the national championship this season. So now it's between us and Gonzaga for the other spot, the final spot in the national championship game this season. We have had a interesting road to the to the final four. We played very well in our first game and our second game to be honest. In our second game we had to play number 1 seeded Texas. Oh, 
And playing number one seeded Texas is not the easiest thing to do, although we made it seem pretty easy in the end. I don't know how we ended up winning by so much against such a very such a very good team like uh that's not English. <laughs> such a good team like Texas. And we gotta compete with the high powered offense of Gonzaga. They score so many points per game. They haven't done very well during the season win loss wise. But in this tournament, they have definitely come to play. I mean, they are the seventh seed in the tournament. But I don't think... I, I have a sneaking suspicion they're not going to play like a seven seed when we are uh, up against them here. As be, Because they, they already have five points in the first couple minutes of this game. We have three. And all three of those are Tiger Campbell, so... And we got to keep up with Suggs. Suggs is a very fast player. And he's a very strong player as he just slams that one home. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can get this to work here. Tiger with the, the dribble moves. Smith guarded by Drew Timmy. And there's Smith with the slam. Let's go, baby. Good slam. They have so many. The thing about Gonzaga, they have so many different weapons. Drew Timmy, Watson, Jalen Suggs, Ayi, Ayayi, <laughs> Corey Kispert. They have so many different weapons that they can destroy you from different sides of the court. It's just a lot to handle. So we're going to have to play, especially with our depth, we're going to have to play a lot stronger, a lot more consistent basketball, and not miss open shots like that if we want to have a chance of headed to heading to the uh, national championship game against North Carolina, who we have not played yet in this series, so that's good. If we end up getting there, I mean, if we don't get there, that's fine too. I mean, we have no no reason being in the Final Four even with the lack of depth that we have. It's basically been Jalen Hill and Chris Smith carrying us to uh, to this point. Tiger had a good game against Texas, but. It's really just Jalen Hill and, and Chris Smith. No, I don't want Johnny Juice. Uh, do I want Johnny? Yeah, I want Johnny Juice in there. Oh, that was a nice move around the around the corner there. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. We got our work cut out for us here. Chris Smith. I wanted a dunk, but it's gonna have to be a missed a missed jumper. That's fine too. That is perfectly fine as well. Where are you going? Where are you going? You ain't going anywhere because I yeah or because Jalen Hill's got you on lock. Drew Timmy to Jalen Suggs in the corner, guarded by Tiger Campbell. Suggs has got some movement. He just gets all around everybody and dunks that basketball. Yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a grind. This is gonna be a tough matchup. Tiger Campbell for three. And he nails it. Let's go, Tiger, baby. Get us back in this game. That was a good shot, too. Well, not a, not a good uh, shot other than it went in. Ooh, where are you going? Where are you going, Kispert? Ooh. No, Hill. <sighs> Why didn't you move, Hill? You saw him going around the corner. You should have moved into the paint to stop him. That's on you, my man. That's a foul. Tried to get the N1. I was going to pass that to... Um, I was going to pass that to Jacquez, but I just saw the open lane. I thought maybe I'd be able to get it. Isaiah Livers still leads in rebounds, even though Michigan only played one game, I'm pretty sure. I, th I think they got knocked out in the first round, and yet he leads rebounds in the tournament. That's crazy. Juzang with some good defense, but he can't get his own rebound, and they get the put back. Come on, Juzang. Get the rebound, my man. What are you doing? Campbell, that's supposed to go to Hill, but that's fine because Clark's going to run this to Jacquez. Quick three. Oh, that hurts. That does hurt. That was supposed to go in. It was meant to go into the bottom of the net. Oh, Juzang, what are we doing, my man? What kind of defense was that? You let him walk right through you. 
Oh, this is going to get ugly if these are the kind of defensive plays that we have. Clark, hold on. Oh, Clark really never had it. It was just a bad pass. You can't fully blame Clark, but he's he's you can blame him a little bit. <laughs> Nembard gives it to IE. I don't know how to say his name. I I I I I all right, give this to... Oh, I, I saw that coming like 3,000 miles away that he was going to tip that and get a turnover, and yet I still passed it. All right, oh, we got a huge mismatch here. Huge mismatch, and I couldn't play any defense. Okay, okay, focus, guys, focus. We aren't as bad as they're playing. They're making us seem... Oh, Johnny Juzang, baby. Green bean. Get that shmoney. Let's go. Let's get back in this game. Nempard. Tiger Campbell trying to pick that off. Strother. Nice ball movement. Get in front of him. Get in front of him. That's going to be a three. No chance. Tiger with the rebound because it just... Fell right into his hands. All right, we're going to hold for final shot here. We are going to hold for final shot, and we're going to give it to Jacquez. There it is. That's money. No, come on. This is going to be a tough game. This is definitely going to be a tough, tough game. All right, we've got under two minutes to go in this final four game. And it is all tied up. I told you this was going to be a tough one. This one's going to be a grind it out, kind of just score when you can, fight. And that's exactly what it's turned out to be. Gonzaga's played amazing defense against me. I'll give him that. And I just took a horrible shot and made it. Jacquez with an amazing shot. I cannot believe I actually just did that. I was running out of shot clock, and I just threw something up. That's amazing. But that gives us a three-point lead. Hill, like always, has played the entire game. Eight points, 12 rebounds. Let's see if Campbell can get something. No, they've Gonzaga's played some lockdown defense. I don't know what it is. Campbell sneaking through there. 68-63. Are we headed to a national championship? Or are we going home in the final four? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he missed it. They're choking down the stretch. They are choking down the stretch. Chris Smith going to try and lay it in, and it's fouled by that man that I don't know how to pronounce his name. <laughs> oh, and we got goaltending on it. I'll take it, but I can't make the free throw. Chris Smith struggles with his free throws sometimes. Ooh, that was a good bucket, but there's only 36 seconds left, and it's down by five. I don't know if it's time to come back. Ooh, they're going to hold me here. Get that up the court. Oh, Riley's wide open. <laughs> oh, of course he misses the jumper. He was wide open. I didn't even realize. Oh, Hill. Yes, good job. Get that to somebody who can shoot. Oh, no. I didn't want it to get it to Smith, that's for sure. Come on, Smith. Yes, make the first. Put this game out of reach. There you go. Good job. 17 points. 65-72 with 17 seconds left. I think UCLA is headed to a f championship game. All right, the inbound for Balo. He's going to take that three. Miss the three. And that is probably game because they're not pressuring it, pressing at all. Tiger Campbell's going to go up and slam that home. Well, not slam it home, but 74-65. It was a fight. But UCLA survives the seven seed and headed, heads their way to a national championship game. Gonzaga just couldn't make anything at the end. We survive in advance, baby. We survive in advance. I'm not sure why the confetti's falling now. It's not a national championship. It's just a Final Four. But I know, I, I know it's exciting to win a Final Four game. 
We are... Whew. We win the final four matchup against Gonzaga. What a game, ladies and gentlemen. What a game. I know you guys didn't see a lot of it. You just saw the first quarter and the fourth quarter. But it was a crazy, crazy game. The stats on the game. Chris Smith had 17 points. Three rebounds. Campbell had 14 points, four rebounds, 10 assists. Jacquez, 12 points. Uh, 12 points, all of which came on uh, three-pointers. And that crazy three-pointer at the end of the game, that was wild. Singleton had nine points. Jalen Hill, eight points, 12 rebounds. Johnny Juzang with seven points. Cody Riley, four and four. Good game. Good game from everybody. And now we head to a national championship. One more game. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the national championship game. Two Blue Bloods. UCLA and North Carolina battle it out for the first national title of this series. Who will walk away with the bragging rights? Who will walk away with the glory of holding up a national championship in the NCAA? Hopefully it's us, <laughs> obviously, but you never know with the way that North Carolina has gotten here. They are the number one overall seed, remember. They aren't just the number one seed. They are the number one overall seed. So... We are going to have a tough road to hoe if we want to win an NCAA National Championship. But we are up 5-0 already, so, I mean, that's a that's a plus. We're in the Dean Smith Center because there's no uh, neutral sites here in, in NBA 2K21, so we got to go home arenas, which kind of sucks. I wish there was. That's a That'd be a cool thing to have, like, neutral site games in, in NBA. But, I mean, I understand why they don't. Jalen Hill to Chris Smith. Going to have to have Chris Smith take over. That's a foul. Walton gets called for the reach in. I was going to go and slam a jam of that one. And yet I got to go to the free throw line. And makes both of them. It is seven to 7-2 to start this game. A dream start here in the national championship game for UCLA. You couldn't have picked two more blue blood schools than UCLA and North Carolina to represent you in the national championship. I guess you could have Duke, but in Kansas, but Oh, Tiger Campbell with the slam. 9 to 2. We are out on a run in this first quarter. Can we keep it up? I hope so. Oh no, nobody was playing the middle because Jalen Hill I think their their way their offense has their center go out on the perimeter, so that's not good for Jalen Hill because he can't shoot the perimeter and he can't defend the perimeter very well. That's going to go out on me? That touched me? I thought that touched one of the Carolina players. Whatever. I could have sworn that touched one of the Carolina players. Jaquez gets run over. And it's going to be a charge. All right. I don't know about that. That was probably a blocking foul. I don't think I got my feet set, but I guess they counted it. Nice little sneaky charge from Jacquez. I like it. Jalen Hill is going to have to play this game too, this entire game too. He's played every game in this tournament the entire way. So definitely in the offseason, we're going to have to recruit some, some big men to, to give Jalen Hill a little bit of a break next season. He's going to need it. He's deserved, especially if he, if he carries us to a national championship after playing the entire the entire uh, tournament every game. He's going to need a break. He's going to need a nice cold one. <laughs> I don't know if he can drink. I don't think he can. He might be able to. Chris Smith, they're playing good defense. That's on me. Yep, I knew they were going to call that on me, even though that wasn't my intention. I was trying to pass it, but he just got close to me, and then they counted it as a charge for some reason. They shouldn't have called it a charge. Why did we both go on him? Yes, Carolina is shooting bricks right now. They need to step it up if they want to win a national championship. This is the final game. One game left in the season. This is it. And they're shooting bricks like that? They cannot afford to be shooting percentages like that. 
Oh, shooting shots like that? Come on, man. You gotta you make that twenty two times out of twenty two. I don't know why I use twenty two instead of like a hundred. <laughs> but Tiger Cam, we are just padding the lead now. Thirteen to four. Let's go. Maybe this will be a blowout and we can win the national title without sweating. That'd be pretty nice. The inbound for black to Bacot gives it to Love. Oh, Jalen Hill just was missing that. He just couldn't stretch enough to get that out of there. 31 for Caleb Love. That's pretty good during the season. Hasn't done much during this tournament, at least not in this game. Singleton can hit that one. Singleton's definitely a step back from Tiger Campbell. I definitely prefer to play as Tiger. Singleton's not bad, though. He just can't shoot as well as Campbell can. And he can slam it home, though. He can definitely slam it home, which is a plus. Black with the ball. Where are you going with it? He's going to give it down to Kessler. Jalen Hill with great defense on that. Getting the ball back. And now Chris Smith going to take it down the court and slam it home. There we go. 17 to 8 is the score. Just keep putting it on. Maybe we can build such a lead that they cannot come back. Even though we're only in the first quarter of this championship game. Caleb Love. He's going to go down and he's not going to get contested. I thought maybe Hill would contest him. He did not. Singleton to Smith. Cut it back this way. Work it. Chris Smith. <sighs> Off the back of the, the iron there. That one hurts. Oh, but Jacquez, dive for that. <sighs> what the heck? I, I pre double pressed the dive. Maybe he's too far away. I don't know. He didn't dive for it, though. All right, let's get some substitutes in here. Everybody but... Jalen Hill. I feel bad because I wish I want to get some backups for him. I want to get some some bench players to come in and and uh, help out Hill, but that's not how college works. <laughs> you got to wait till the off season to build your team. And good job, Jalen. Let's go. Nine point lead for UCLA in this first quarter. Davis, oh, Singleton got caught reaching. He got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. A little over a minute to go in the first quarter. A nine-point lead for UCLA on the John Wooden court. Johnson gives it to Harris. Harris going to take it, take the jumper. No good. Kessler with the rebound. Put back. It's good. We didn't have a big guy down there to to rebound over top of Kessler, so I don't know where Hill was. He should have been down there. Singleton trying to work something. Give that to Kaiman. Kaiman takes the three off the rim and out. Under a minute to go. Oh, but Singleton with a poke away. And in transition, he slams it home. 21 to 12. What an opening quarter for UCLA. This one could be a blowout. Oh, Singleton with another steal. And this time, Clark with the jumper. No good. Singleton with the rebound. Singleton brought his defensive hands today. He really wants that national championship as Jalen Hill slams that one home. 23-12. to Can he get a third straight? He's trying for it. Davis takes the jumper from the free throw line, gets it to go. 23-14. 11 seconds left. We're just going to hold for final shot. What a quarter for the UCLA Bruins. And Singleton gets it off the backboard. 25-14. David Singleton is here to play as the first quarter ends. 25-14. This might not end up being a game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the final two minutes of the national championship game. The final two minutes of the season. They're here, 
and we are only up by five. This one turned out to be a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a of a competitive one than I would have liked. And that one's gonna go out on the on Carolina. I'll take that. Good job, Jalen Hill. Campbell's had a good game. David Singleton has had a really good game. He was playing good defense earlier. You guys saw those highlights. But he's got the offense now. He is playing very, very well in this championship game. Jalen Hill's obviously playing really well because he's had time to, to play well. He's had the entire game to play well. Tiger Campbell needed to hit that. I, I needed to hit those. Everybody's played really good in this game. We've missed a, a few easy shots, but that's to be expected. We're not the greatest team. <laughs> we weren't we weren't the the favorite in any of our games in this tournament. And yet we're here somehow in the national championship going against the favorite North Carolina, the number 1 overall seed, up by 4 with under a minute to go. Nobody believed in us and we're the Cinderella story this season. You love to see a good Cinderella story as Chris Smith just slams it home with 50 seconds left. Up by six, could that have been the nail in the coffin? Could that be the nail in the proverbial coffin? Love with the step back, no good. He's going to put it up with the putback. All right, get it in the hands of Tiger Campbell. I'd rather have him shoot the free throws than most of my team. But Jalen Hill, we're not going to have to shoot free throws because Jalen Hill was wide open. Let's go. Six-point ball game. Walton with the ball, and I fouled him. No. No, I didn't mean to press that. Oh, that's bad. That's very, very bad. He sinks that one. It's a five-point game. Sinks the second one as well. we got to get it in the hands of Campbell. I'd rather have him shoot the free throws than anybody. And they're going to foul immediately. I would expect that. That's four on love. One more, and he's out of here. Tiger hits the first. Let's go. It's a five-point game. And sinks the second as well. Tiger Campbell, big free throws. Clutch. North Carolina has clawed their way back into this game. And Love, oh, Love could have sent them. He could have sent them with a huge three. And Tiger hits the, the first. That's big. That is very, very big. Eight-point game. Let's go. 22 seconds left. Eight-point ball game. This one could very much be over. It could be in the hands of UCLA. He's going to shoot that three. No good. That's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new national champion on our hands. It is the UCLA Bruins. As Chris Smith puts us up by 10 with five seconds to go. Let's go, everybody. There it is, national champions in college basketball in year number one. This is just year number one, remember. National champions. Chris Smith on the ground crying because he's so emotional he can't believe it. It Just think of how hard it is to win a national championship in, the, in, in college basketball. And we've done it in year number one with no depth. We had no backup center, no backup power forward. And yet we are national champions. And it was not an easy road to get there, having to play against Baylor, having to play against Texas, the number one seed in our bracket, side of the bracket, having to go up against Gonzaga, one of the toughest teams in the country, and then having to play the number one overall seed in the entire country and in the entire bracket, North Carolina, with the best record in all of basketball we had to go up against them in the national championship game, and we did it. Look at us. National champions. Jalen Hill is the is the national champion best player. <laughs> I don't think there is an award for, for the best player uh, in the national championship game. But Jalen Hill wins it regardless. Congratulations to these kids. It is wonderful that they did it unbelievable the game stats Caleb Love dropped 30 on us 
Jalen Hill dropped 25 and 10. Singleton dropped 20, 16 for Chris Smith. Tiger Campbell had 14, and then some clutch free throws. Jacquez had five, Cody Riley three and five. Everybody played out of their minds, especially these top four right here. Amazing performance in the national championship. And ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Year number one, the UCLA Bruins are your national champions. Congratulations, the UCLA Bruins have won the NCAA championship. Jalen Hill is the the uh, championship MVP. <laughs> like I said, I don't think there is a, a f- championship MVP for college basketball. Hey, look, fun fact, this game was played on my birthday. I didn't even realize that. But that is going to do it for this NCAA tournament. I know this video is super, super long, so I hope you guys uh, understand. That's why there wasn't a lot of highlights for each game, because I didn't really want this video to be two hours long. So I hope you guys understand that there. I, I tried to keep it as quick as possible. It's just these games take a long time to play, and there was four of them. So we. I, I tried to get it as short as possible, so I hope you guys understand so make sure to smash that like button. We've got the off season coming up in the next episode, so be ready for that one. That's going to be a crazy one. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. Make sure to smash that like button, the notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!